It's not fear. Uh, it's um, I think when uh, you play music and such, you create like this own world that's like in your own heart. I don't know for others, but for myself, I I kind of live in this world in my heart and sound. And so people, it's hard to communicate with words sometimes. And so I think the shyness stemmed out of not knowing how to express myself humanly to another person. And also just being young and playing this kind of music, I had a lot of people kind of go like this to me and what you're doing, no, no, you can't do this, you can't play like this. And so naturally I've developed kind of this, um, no, I'm gonna do this and this is beautiful and this is pure and this is sweet and this is loving. It's not what you think it is. And um, so I think the shyness kind of came out of that, but now it's kind of merging this, not so shy, but you know, just, I don't know. Just learning how to communicate with people, I think, what kind of shimmed out is shy. Not fear, no fear. Yeah. First time in Europe ever. I had no expectations. When I was very little, I heard that Albert Aller said that people here said his music was beautiful and I wanted to see for myself and my heart is like, you know, filled to the max, filled to the brim, overpouring. It's beautiful. Um, what inspired me to want to exist and want to be alive because uh, his music showed me how beautiful the world was and to be grateful for my life and be grateful to be here and uh, keep searching and here and just being grateful. So it, it's a musical path but it's also uh, everything else in the heart. It's beautiful. So yes, the music did, did that. No musicians in the family at all. Uh, no, I grew up with my grandmother. She's very supportive, but she's not no musicians. So they think that this is uh, they don't understand it. But they were very timid of the saxophone sound when I was younger. I have to play outside, and then now they're kind of coming to it. So. I'm very shy usually, but I came here and um, they took us to the Brooklyn Lounge and I met this guy named John, he does electronics in the van and then we played together and um, I remember I sat on the couch and I talked to this beautiful family from around here and they, they didn't, I didn't understand them very well but what they said was so beautiful about the music and I think coming here and being greeted with such like beauty of words describing music is like, was like my first kind of take of playing in Europe at the Brooklyn Lounge with this guy I met in the van going over there and uh, all the musicians here uh, are so loving and you know you sit in the in the cafeteria and you talk and you talk about everything and then you kind of play do sessions and do this and it's the most amazing experience most amazing so beautiful <laughs> I moved to New York and the, the next day I, I lived there, I did a record with William Parker and Francisco Mela for this record label called 577. Um, and it was very beautiful. I was very young. I said I was still young, but it felt like I was such a baby. I felt like I didn't know anything and I was so, I was beyond fearless. And um, uh, yes, it was very different. It was right when I got to New York, you know, before you live and you learn certain things. But uh, we recorded that record. And there were some, I'm not going to get into it, but there were some struggles within that whole process of working with different people. And Zorn I met on the street with William Parker. We were having breakfast and Zorn walks by and uh, William introduced me. He's like, oh, this is Zoe, the upcoming da 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 blah 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 blah. And I shook his hand, I looked at him and it was like we'd known each other our whole lives so when I looked at him. And uh, we met and just boom, you know, the connection was there. and. Uh, he wanted to put out a record because I told him I said you know I want to be in this beautiful world but I, I'm trying to get to other places I want to go new places and he said I set up a, a, a band and he set up uh, Joy Barron and Thomas Morgan who I never played with before and then Micah Thomas he's like my brother so we went there and we recorded that record in a few hours and <laughs> it was just so special and uh, kind of just a uh, uh, a blessing that I never really saw coming. Uh, people, you know, everyone dreams of meeting Zwan and 
recording on Sonic, and so I'm just so blessed and so grateful for that opportunity. And, but also just the opportunity of getting in the studio with these beautiful artists and souls and spending the day with them and getting to talk about music and such was the real treat. Uh, but then I just did a record in February with Mikey Thomas again, Tyshawn Sori, and Matt Hollenberg, the guitar player on, on the piece. And that record is something that I feel like is the more of the direction I'm going into in my heart. The other records are beautiful, so grateful, but you know, the, you keep moving and that's more like the direction and that was like the most you know the ex full experience of the beauty and this beauty last year in new york there's a thing called the vision festival and i played and he went to the sound check and i remember he was sitting down and i looked at him I felt like I had um, tears in my eyes looking at him. He had pure and um, so much love in his heart. And um, I heard him play that night after, you know, he played before us. And I was so, like, touched, not only by just the music, but his presence was so beautiful to me and so pure. And um, I was very shy, so I didn't say hello. And then when I moved to New York months later, I did everything to find his uh, contact information, and no one had it. He was a man of mystery, and I just prayed about it, and prayed and prayed, and I said, you know, Ma, this is gonna happen, let's do it. And left New York uh, in December to take a break from it. And months later, I was sleeping on the couch, and I woke up to an email from Shazad. He said, do you want to uh, develop this, to get together, develop, uh, yeah, get together and develop? And I said, of course. And then this came around, and he said, do you want to come to Europe? And so the first time we met was here. The first time we played together was here. And a part of this festival, too, um, we were working on different hours than the other musicians. So uh, when people were sleeping, we were rehearsing in the rehearsal room. So we're like, whoop, you know. And uh, he's already, I just met him. He's taught me so much about my own heart and just about the music and fearlessness and support and love. And it's a absolute dream come true. I. Nothing else I would want more, you know. Yeah. So that's crazy Shazad story. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's it's absolutely overwhelming because uh, the music is um, I I I think it's um, a blessing from the absolute highest, and um, I just say okay, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. And sometimes it surprises me because I say I could cry now thinking about it because playing with him it was so beautiful and moments. Um, and see, it's hard to describe, but he, we get to this place in the music that's so like um, the most beautiful thing, and it then like the the worldliness and the world kind of kicks back and takes me, and it's like no, go, I want to go here, no, and so I'm like oh, so I don't know if you heard me like oh, it's like no, go, I want to go here, and so it's like this like uh, inner struggle, not inner struggle, inner um, journey to like completely live here. And I think that's just, but that's also the beauty of this like, so I'm like no, go, oh, you know.